Hey everybody. When I was putting together the assembly edit for this episode, I started to realize that the end tasting clip that I would normally put at the end was hopelessly out of sync with the audio. This is due to an issue with my camera, and for some reason on this one clip, it had dropped several hundred frames randomly throughout the clip, and I was unable to successfully completely repair the clip. That is the reason when you look at the clip and you watch the, through the end of the episode that the audio is completely out of sync. I did the best job I could to fix this, but there was really no full solution to this problem. I just want to let everybody know, and uh, hope you enjoy this episode. Till next time, cheers. It's winter, it's cold outside, and it's the perfect time to rip up a big, hoppy double IPA to keep you warm on those cold winter nights. Let's get started. Welcome back to Brewing Around the Realm. I am Dave, your amateur brewmaster. And on this episode, I'm bringing up a big, hoppy double IPA featuring Chinook Hops. Go back a couple of episodes, you know, I created a Chinook Session IPA. With that being so successful, I thought I'd give my try at brewing a double Chinook IPA. The idea for this recipe actually came up when I was researching on how to create an Arrogant Bastard clone. I will link to that forum thread in the post on the website for this beer. That actually led me to a recipe that was not very close to Arrogant Bastard, but featured all Chinook cops, and it was definitely exactly what I was looking for. So, I'm going to take you back through the recipe. I'll give you all the ingredients, get that up on the screen for you. Remember to stop over at brewingaroundtherealm.com to download the beer XML file. Let's get this brew day started. I'll come back afterwards, give you some tasting notes, and provide you some additional information on how this brew day went down. Today's green bill is 17 pounds of Viking Pilsner malt, 9 ounces of aromatic malt, 9 ounces of biscuit malt, 9 ounces of Karamunic 1, 9 ounces of Special B. Today's hops are Chinook, we've got baking soda, World Flock Yeast Nutrient, Gypsum, and today's yeast is Nottingham. This is the first time I'm using Nottingham, but I have used dry yeast before. So let's get the mashing in. The mash water gets 1.5 teaspoons of gypsum. And 2 teaspoons of baking soda. Target mash temperature for today is 152. The grain is at 62 degrees. The Water temperature currently is 165. That should give me our 152. Just gonna dump this in and mix it in. The mash temperature had settled in way too low at 144, so I took a gallon of wort out and I heated that up in the microwave. Hey, look at that 158, which is way too high. But you know what? The hell with it. We're gonna let it go. It'll work out fine. If I recover this since I haven't gone over it in a while, what I am going to do is back sparge this. My 60 minute mash time is up. I've got uh, my own little three tier system here. Uh, I have 3.2 gallons of 170 degree water in here. I'm going to fully drain this out into the pot and then I will back sparge with that and let it sit for 20 minutes and then I will be uh, ready to boil. This is almost up to a boil, and I'm about to put our first 1.1 ounces of Chinook in. This is a 60 minute boil today, and you're probably asking yourself, why on earth are you using 1.1 ounces? It seems like a random odd number. The reason it's 1.1 ounces is because I scaled this recipe from 5 gallons to 6 gallons and made some additional changes to it. So, let's get started. This is 
going into the boil right now, and I'll fill you in as we're going along. All right, I'm going to throw this in, and I'm going to start the time. Here we go. 45 minutes left, and gives another 1.1 ounces. 15 minutes left, and gives the ward chiller. And 6 teaspoons of yeast nutrients and a world flock tablet. Two minutes left. I'm going to put in another 1.1 ounces of Chinook. When our boil time is up, time to throw in our Whirlpool hops. That's 2.2 ounces of Chinook, and I'm going to leave that for 20 minutes. I have the wort chilled down to about 80 degrees. I shook this up for a while to properly aerate this, and I'm going to get the yeast pitch in. You are going two weeks into the future to see how this one came out. That was my first time ever using Nottingham yeast, and that fermented that batch out in about three days. Obviously, it wasn't complete, but at the three-day mark, I put in an additional 2.2 ounces uh, for a dry hop into the fermenter. Uh, I let that go for four days after that, and a week later, I dumped that into the keg. And in the keg, for the first time ever, I decided, since I had just two ounces of Chinook hops left, that I would take those two ounces, I put them into a hop sock, and I dry hopped into the keg with that additional two ounces. The end product came out excellent. I couldn't have really expected anything more. I've got that beer right here. It is very clear and very hoppy. Uh, this is exactly what I expect from a Chinook IPA. Uh, I'm very happy with this beer. This ended up coming in at 8.4% alcohol at the end and I'm very happy with this. Let me give you a taste here. And it's really, it's not overpowering. Despite the fact that I went over a hundred on the IBUs, I probably could have put more Chinook into here and made something even a little bit more hoppy than this. It's very well balanced. Uh, it's nice. There's a nice malt backbone in this. The hops and the malt really complement each other. I would definitely recommend if you uh, like Chinook hops or you like a, a good hoppy, piney, resinous IPA, this is definitely one you want to give a try to. That is it for this episode. If you get a chance to brew this beer or any of my other beers, please leave a comment below. I greatly appreciate it. And I appreciate the fact that you've taken the time to watch this video. I know you have a lot of options on YouTube to watch a lot of other videos and a lot of other brewers making a lot of good beer. I want to make sure that I say thank you to you, the viewer. If you like what you saw today, please also remember to give this video a share. Till next time, remember, I make all the brewing mistakes, so you don't have to.